behind you. Thank you, Okay, so Len, I'll give it you from there. I'll drop it out as you join in. Okay, okay. Thank you very much for waiting. <laughs> Did you come up with the idea? Uh, I think it was like a moment of madness. I think probably up to like 5 a.m. Uh, listening to a Christmas song like a month early. And then I remember saying to Rob, like, me, you know, we need to do something big this year. Um, I think one of the ways to do that is to get every, everyone involved. Um, I think it makes it a bit more special. But a friend of mine called Matthew Sang uh, sent me like a documentary of Band Aid. Um, and I'm in the studio and, and and like sort of who produced the track and how they did it and stuff like that. And I remember watching that about mid-November, you know, thinking we, we could do something similar. Kind of started messaging people, seeing if they'd if they'd sort of be up for it. Um and everyone got back and everyone's dead positive. So uh I got in touch with Will um and I asked him if he wanted to produce it with us and if he'd be up for doing it. And he's like, Yeah, I'd love to. So plenty. We can spread a smile of joy Throw your arms around the world At Christmas time So what was your reaction when Jake asked you to uh, do this? Um, it was all good. It was all very positive. The project itself, I was honoured to be able to take it on. Me or the thought was like, oh my God, like, it's going to be a lot of people doing a lot of singing and a lot of synths and um i was a little tentative a little scared and i still am and we've just finished tracking it well, i was buzzing me like in the same room. yeah like i I'd, I'd thought about it but i just thought oh it'd be like you know one of those things that you just think about and then it'd happen well it wouldn't happen sorry yeah, no, we're really excited. Um, it's just a great, great laugh with the mates. Um, a lot of good bands are coming joining us, aren't they? Yeah, um, not often stuff like this gets done. That's it. It's got the Christmas spirit going in Wigan. Right, next one, not this one. Not this one. Right, this one. Have this one. Okay. So the first thing we did planning wise, um, obviously Dawes wouldn't come to me with the idea, Stanley's as a whole it comes to me with the idea. And it had to be really broken down and really concise of, okay, so Rob's playing the drums, um, Harry's playing the bass, um, obviously Dawesman was gonna do the synths. Um, and then it was a fact of sitting down and just writing this is being played by this person, and then also taking every vocal line from the song and figuring out who was plan A, plan B, plan Z for each line, maybe not that far, but figuring out who was singing what. You can sort of tell stylistically whose voice, you know, would suit which part, uh, sort of where they pitched, um, you know, who was good at harmonizing or, um, you know, who would who would suit that part, who'd be able to do it, who'd be able to do it like quickly and just nail it and then and then we could save a lot of time in it. Because a lot of it was like we'll push for time constraints really, but because we got in people who we thought would do really well on, on different bits of the track, it sort of went a lot smoother. It's like I'm, I don't know how they did it. It's like forty people in that massive yeah, studio. Yeah. Is it is it our long documentary that goes into depth of how they filmed it and recorded okay. it? And it goes through some of the like bits of the singing harmonies on it, which is really fucking useful. Rob, who do you want playing percussion on it? Whoever wants to. Who wants to? I don't know. It's a bit of a great. Who's doing not doing the drums, but do you want to play the cabasa? Who's more? Can I please, sir? No. Put camera on him. No, I'm the school teacher. Oh. <laughs> You're staying in the break if you carry on. Jamie, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's it. So Monday. It was lovely and it was great and it was so nice to have people together in the studio, but the efficiency was hurt. Um, so on the Monday, we did try and track the instruments and we possibly could have got a little further if um, we'd managed the studio side of things a bit better, but I had, we all had a good time, so it, it balanced out. 
day one was just absolute chaos. It was like, there weren't even that many of us in the studio. I think the lilacs were in, uh, garden party, a couple of the facades were in, John and the shirts. It was still chaotic because we didn't know, you know, what to do. We hadn't got like a running order together. Uh, we, didn't, we hadn't at that point planned who was probably going to sing what. I set the boozer. Uh, Liam, I reckon you could get him that, you know, and that's not why. Because <laughs> you're fucking wrong, you don't say that. Well, excited to do, obviously, is, is being in a room with, first and foremost, like, my mates making music, do you know what I mean? Is That's always fun. First time I've seen him, not in the pub for a while, so. I mean, I think it's great to be working such a, you know, a great charity uh, in the North West. Um, which you're doing so many great things, especially at Christmas time, because you know, no one should be alone at Christmas. <laughs> well, mate, just what I did. Hey, no, well, what I did, but lower. That. That's your melody. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Right, all right, mate. Yeah, That's yeah. That's it. I got it. Yeah. Easy. Merry Christmas, Mark. <laughs> one and oh, all. I've been meeting new people like Mark from Revellers and. Uh, and like then the, the lights from River and like the facades and stuff made a lot of new friends. So, oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah, that was it. A uh, couple uh, more. Matthew Barber from River. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've um, brilliantly set up a communal area downstairs in the building uh, that has a ping pong table, um, so people can commune the i'll miss out on that like that's uh, i wish i was down there um but people have fun down there and then when it's their turn to do a vocal take they can come up and join the the, the work and then go back down and enjoy themselves so uh, yeah i was sort of stuck in the studio chair and didn't get to join in on the table tennis and i'm all right at table tennis as well so, like that. so, so i'm gonna politely take a week <laughs> move ourselves into the kitchen yeah. Just yeah, yeah. Designed. <laughs> yeah, G. Right. Safe, G. Nothing big. Nothing big. Uh, I'll learn up. Get yourself a little box. Oh, man. Get that shit. You're going down into the kitchen now. It's Luke, Ash. Yeah. It's Luke, Ash. It's ridiculous. I don't want to go through that. Yeah, we have to go through that. For now. For now. Why? We're all... I don't think we've ever all been in the... In the same place together. I don't think every like where everyone is here to do something. I don't think that's ever happened. There's people here I've not met before, like in, in person. Just spoke to them over a message. Yeah. It's nice to actually see people's faces for. To say that, we're gonna sing a great song, Christmas song, so great. <laughs> when when we reached out, um Gave Katie a message on Instagram and she was like, she was dead responsive straight away. She was like, yeah, I'd love to. So uh, Katie came in, she had like a half an hour window. We picked out a few bit different bits for her that we thought would uh, sort of suit her. Uh, she sung the harmonies amazingly. She's like so talented. So I got pulled in to do this little charity single with the Stanleys by Jake. It seems like he's been the mastermind behind all this. He's been working really hard on it. And I just couldn't say no to him because I just think they're a great band and great lads. For me, selfishly, it was great to sit in a producer's chair and, you know, track track everyone. I was brilliant to track everyone. Um, you know, and then Alex walks in, who's just got a number one album. And it was brilliant to be able to sit with him and do that. And kids from Lottery Winners, and people who were just starting out, it was brilliant. We'll say a prayer. We'll say a yeah. prayer. One, two, three, four, five. Pray for the other ones at Christmas time. That's it. You know where you'd so. The other ones at Christmas time. It's hard, but when you're having fun. Come on. No, oh, no, no. That was it. One more, one more, then you fucking free, you free, you free, one more. I think it's a good concept. Um, kind of shows um, like solidarity and kind of um, like unity between just a group of normal people who wanna who wanna do something. And um, I think it's dead good that Jake's like took it um, took it upon himself and kind of 
set it up and, and got people involved in that and he, he was very passionate about it, which is, I mean, it's all well and good saying like, like people will do things and like give to charity and stuff like that, but if you're actually doing, like actively doing something, it's like they say, actions speak louder than words and he's he's got up, got up and done it um, of his own accord, so it's good. Um, yeah, the class because it's brilliant to get all of the local musicians together in one room and I hopefully make a really good song and you know do some good. Yeah, it's, it's for a sitcom as well. It's the brick of a like a wicked charity. We've seen how much they do for the community, just like all the time with everything that that's been going on in the world. They've been helping so many people, so it's a bit of an excuse for us to all get together and, and do something good for Wigan, really, and support the people who supported us. We wanted to wanted to choose a charity that was relevant to everyone involved. So and the good thing about the brick is um, everyone knows the name in Wigan. You know, it's like what they've been doing in in the town has, has been going on for years and years. So like, well, we ended up going down me and Rob to the brick and chatting um, with a few people who worked there and just learning about the work they do. After going visiting them, I think I made it a bit more urgent. Like it, they sort of showed us how important it was what we were doing and that it wasn't just you know a little thing it's it's, it's quite a big thing because the brick does literally like save people's lives really um the brick works the brick works is a place that um was set up um a few years ago now and it was funded to provide a training and employment upskilling environment for people uh so this is this place is where um people come to gain confidence um, and work, see see what it's like really to work in a, a very realistic environment. So we have mentors that work here. We've got a mentor in the cafe, catering mentor. We've got retail mentors. We've got a shop, a charity shop here and, and people can learn retail skills, um, cashing up, cash handling, that type of thing. We've also got um, vans. So we've got, and we have people who uh, could go on, on the vans as van mates and We've got a bike shop final and finish. a bike shop. Yeah, final finish. Final finish is um, painted and decorated where mm -hmm. we go into void properties, social properties in Wigan, and we get them ready for the next tenant so they can learn um, skills in painting and decorating. The bike maintenance part, that's been really successful because that's mm -hmm. really moved people on. And we've had some really fantastic outcomes where people have been been and actually learned how to refurbish bikes and then gone on to get jobs with companies like Halfords. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, so that's what, yeah. what this place is all about, really, because what we're really passionate about is not just giving somebody a roof over the head. It's a lot more of a wraparound, um, a, a like wraparound a offer. Kind of thing. Mm. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. But I, I think, you know, just like the, the roof over the head, is just a start and it really wants, yeah. Yeah. you know, once you've got that, you need so much more. What do you think is an area that needs like more investment I find a lot of people don't put money into opportunities like work clothes and it's usually let's get someone a sleeping bag let's, let's get, get some, some you know the, yeah. what yeah, they yeah, think is essential when in reality yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all and that's essential it's, it's up, needed yeah. but it's not a long term what's the next day yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. like the restoration yeah the restoration and you hit the nail on the head you said that's just a starting point getting a home so you've got the people who don't have a home obviously we help them to get into a home but you know what that's just a start because you don't fix all the other bits that were, you know, the led to them. Opportunity Absolutely. Chance, so this place is all about, do you know what, just give it a go. If you don't like it, we'll, you know, mm. we'll find something you do like. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and that's what we're all about because, um, you know, we want the person that we're working with to lead that experience. Mm. And we don't want to force things on to them. They've got to decide. Mm. So that's why we offer quite a lot of different things. And also we try and broker opportunities in the community as well. So we, um, we don't just want people to be here no. because yeah. the world's a much bigger than here mm -hmm. so you know we want people to, to do things in the in the wider Wigan community as well <laughs> well you know what it's an okay. absolute pleasure to call you a friend after the... <laughs> do you know what I mean you're not just someone I know anymore I, I think you're an actual I think you're a friend I hope you are am I, I your friend you, <laughs> um, Alana give me a bit of a sing again yeah you know what it was fun there's nothing better than when someone nails it yeah or like you know it's happened a few times so when like when when you know Rob did the fills and then we got it and it's like yes yeah, yeah. Or when, when we were in in the room uh, doing all the synths and that late last night uh, we'd find the harmony you know <laughs> yeah. like getting or we'd get the you know the right sound you know the tubular <laughs> bell sound <laughs> what's that the tubular <laughs> bell <laughs> we spent three hours looking for the one sound <laughs> the takeaway from the experiences 
it's actually scared us forever. So yeah. every time I hear a church bell, it's gonna be like, <laughs> yeah, no, it's been fun. The best bit was hearing everyone singing there, you know, like all the different bands and hearing them nail it, and it's yeah. like, wow. Yeah, it was. And it's great. You know, it's almost like you, you're getting like a performance for free. Mm. Like, we don't have to buy a ticket for that. Yeah, yeah. And we got a live performance. It's good. And everyone nailed it, so. They did.